We live in a network society and uh, we are wired, are wireless, but nevertheless connected all the time. PRANK is uh, an acronym, it stands for Personal Residential Automation Network Kit. PRANK is a toolkit which is designed to carry your network wherever you go. The PRANK unit will consist of uh, as small a footprint as possible, but it will have what we call a holographic laser projector, an HLP, which is compact and it could be embedded into a variety of things that you use around uh, the house or your office or while you travel. Prank involves development of uh, piece of, some pieces of hardware and some pieces of software. Together, they will enable us to be able to access our networks through an interface. Well, I think uh, once you purchase this product, our hope is that you would uh, take it home, you would install it anywhere that you would like. If you want something that you do in your office recreated in your house, be it audio settings, temperature settings, environmental settings, uh, a variety of things, uh, Prank will allow you to take those with you wherever you go. Could be on a wall, could be on a desk, could be under the counter, could be in your shower, the interface to prank uh, could be controlled through a variety of smart devices such as the iPhone, the Blackberry or any droid based phone. So you don't always have to be fumbling for your phone and looking at this little interface and trying to punch in here. I'm hoping that uh, we should be able to take it out into the environment, have it projected on a wall, on a desk and uh, so thus any surface and any environment can become your interface. There are multiple options that Mahesh and I have talked about, one of them being uh, selling this to the projector company and they could eventually sell it as a product and Ball State gets uh, a share of it. Our emphasis here is really on how to commercialize, on how to take this product into the marketplace very quickly so that it will actually have an impact on how we live and how we interact with our environments.